Hello everybody, welcome to this. It's another two minute revision video on structure and form today in the poem Checking Out Me History. Now you know I have detailed analysis of every poem so do check out the AQA Power and Conflict Poetry playlist for full detailed analysis of every poem. But this series is just about quick videos for those of you who want a, a little sound bite to help you along with your revision. So Checking Out Me History has some very interesting structural features. To begin with, there's a lack of punctuation. And that makes it difficult to follow the poem, difficult to read as it's intended to be read. And I think this actually, this deliberate challenge in the way we should read the poem, reflects the speaker's own experience of having a different foreign culture forced upon him. If you actually watch the poet himself read the poem, where he pauses and breaks is not indicated by punctuation and it just suggests that it's difficult to understand having something forced upon you that you do not fully comprehend. The use of rhyme is also really interesting as well. It forces white and black figures together in history. Of course, the whole poem is about how white and black history was segregated. So we have, you know, the rhymes of balloon, moon, spoon, maroon, and this is the sort of structural rhyming that we see throughout the poem. Three figures and then a figure from black history. But of course, the fact that it ends on the figure from black history means that structurally it's building up to and climaxing on the most significant person, the figure from black histor history. And we see this in a lot of hip hop, a lot of grime music where, you know, rhyme is used. I see a lot in Stormzy. Check out my analysis of Stormzy as poet in the um, rapper's poetry playlist where you see four rhymes but it is building up to the last word that rhymes which is emphasizing the significance of the figures from black history which of course have been undermined in the speaker's own experience growing up. So how is this poem about power and conflict? It's about the conflict between your own original identity and that that is forced upon you by your oppressors and the use of structure here represents it so brilliantly.